having a respectable subscriber base with little viewership. When I started YouTube, not much persons would look at my channel. I realized from early that the audience or whom you call viewers have a list of criteria which serves as a attention board. Many viewers will watch a channel having a respectable size subscriber base. I began hunting subscribers and making friends online to get that spot. It worked. My subscriber base increased. I shared in several videos that I believe sub for sub was the way to go. Well YouTube disagreed and encouraged persons not to ask for subscribers in comments. After hitting my first 1000 subscriber goal, the energy or desire to just seek subscribers died. I now opted to create videos which are considered educational and informative. Whilst the viewership is not considered great and pulling viewers in, I purposefully continued along this line. Pushing out videos every single day. I have published videos on practically every aspect of freshwater fish keeping. Today, I am currently reaping the benefits of having so many videos. Most of my views are on old videos. Much work has gone into the restructuring of my channel. My videos are reorganized, better edited although, more work might be needed. Improved thumbnails, tags and keywords are researched and introduced. As a result, the videos are now being noticed by many of my viewers. In addition, adding to varied conversations on fish keeping on YouTube. Today, for me it's not about subscribers, it's about content. With this approach, I have seen a positive result. My subscriber base has increased, whilst my views are up. The quality of content goes together with subscriber base. Having a high number of subscribers with poor content, poor presentation, or content not filled with valued information to me is not a wise feat. I have seen several channels with a few videos and thousands of views. This points to the reality that a channel's subscribership base does not guarantee substance or value for watching. Regardless of my thoughts and opinion on this issue, having a sizable subscribership base will guarantee your channel being viewed for the mere curiosity, many will ask themselves, why do so many persons subscribe to this channel and watch? That by itself is a catch, having other subscribers joining the party. The building of one's reputation on any social media platform cannot be done in a vacuum. Your channel will never grow if you fail to establish a network of fans. This network of fans is the one to make or break you. Have you ever participated in a playlist raid? The very thought of this practice points to a network of people, the idea to go forward, is decided upon by the desire to help a friend, or group of friends, by another group of friends, of course, this move is temporary, it will only last for a few hours. The continued growth of traffic to your channel will demand work on you the owner's part. I was astonished to realize a few days ago, at the fact that, when I checked a channel which is well known in fish tubing land, monetized and all, its viewership or regular audience had fallen. I am not laughing at the fact that viewers are minimal, I am just curious, is it that once monetization has been achieved, the quality of content becomes poor, uninformed, or just unplanned? Going forward one should become cognizant of the fact that the more you become recognized by a set audience, demands should increase, thus careful planning and execution of published content should be a priority, that is if you so desire to continue riding that trend. The moment you give in and lapse in published content, your audience will go elsewhere. Share your thoughts on this issue. Join the discussion below. Eri from Yod.